What is up, you guys? Sean Cody here. And we're at Days of the Dead 2024 in Chicago here. There's a lot of people here today. I already just did a live stream, kind of took you guys around, took everybody around really, really quick to kind of take a look at things and just get an overview. But now we're going to go walk around here, get a better, closer look at some things, and we're going to get some interviews with some of these vendors and get a little more insight of some of their products that they have. I saw some pretty cool things, so let's go check this out. This first thing I like to uh, check out here is this uh, video, this pinball machine. They always have one here every year, but this one, this year is for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I thought that was pretty cool. The leather, the leather face up there. The Texas things in there. Uh, it's a really cool pinball machine though. It is free play. It's hard to play when I'm holding the camera. <laughs> Even on the top top there too, that's pretty cool. So <laughs> spooky pinball. So these guys make uh, these custom machines. Like I said, they have a different one here every year, so it's just really cool what they do. This is pretty wild. It says handmade. A real preserved spider web jewelry. Oh yeah, I do see a spider web in there. Might be hard to see on the camera, but I see it. I see wow. Good, how you doing? This is Tomb of a thistle. Tombs of a thistle. Yeah, she was These are pretty cool too. <laughs> They're pretty cool. That's the zombie with the bottle of wine there. A wine holder. That's a pirate too. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, the box? This guy, a thousand dollars for this guy. The guy from Puppet Master. It's cool. Excuse me. This guy from Puppet Master too. Oh yeah, they do. I got one of these guys. Feed me. Oh, there's the gauntlets. Two hundred dollars for some gauntlets. They have that big old sword there too. <laughs> if you got the gauntlets, you got to get the sword. Is that it? Yeah. Devil's Rejects. Oh, this is pretty wild. Weird. Lost Boys. Oh, it was just on TV just the other day. Watched a little bit of it. Too, with, the, with the creature and other face. Yeah, 
got uh, Bam Magura here from uh, Jackass. He's over there taking selfies with people. I didn't see him. I just noticed him, you know. I didn't see him before. That was cool. Yeah, there is so many people. This is pretty, really good turnout this year. I think that's because uh, we have a lot the Hellraiser cast and uh, Children of the Corn as well. But yeah, I'm just, I'm still glad to see the awesome turnout. There's so many people here. I'm not sure who clown is in the clown, but he says he watches my channels. Uh, he told me, I don't know if I caught that in the live stream, but yeah. <laughs> I gotta find, I gotta get a who, he, who he is. Also, I saw one other person that was I saw here last year as well, too. He came up and said hi to me again. What's up, bro? The Ramones. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. We are the Horror House. The Horror House. In Avondale. Avondale, okay. Right across from Pumas. Oh, I got some stickers and patches here. Oh, Halloween 3. <laughs> Michael Myers. This is cool. Uh, Halloween. Never seen that one before. That was cool. Good. How you doing? Oh, that's cool. Cool Bella Lugosi. I like that. And the terrifier. That's, I love that expression on it. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, they got uh, tarot decks. Yeah, that one came out really good. I'm really happy with that one. And I use mostly live models. She's a fantastic young lady. I like working for models whenever I can. Yeah, definitely a good technique. Yeah, I always said the artworks on these tarot cards are pretty cool. I always, more money this guy does that, some good artwork. I, I keep, I keep seeing some of these, uh, some of these prints over here. Really cool. I would kill for a Control Z on it. Yeah. I tell you so much. All it does is the Oh, out. basket case. <laughs> hey, that guy. <laughs> some, more, some more critters over here. I got uh, alien in jar. Oh, there's a uh, the alien pods. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Tales of horror. You know, every time I come to one of these conventions, these things get more and more high resolution. Yes, yeah, so that's like the the three D spinner ball. You know, they first started out, they were just kind of dots yeah, like this. Then you got dots like this. Then now we're like directly full screen video here. Next thing you know, next year we're going to come to the, the Horicon. They're going to have holograms on your back. <laughs> what is this? Good, how you doing? Please, all these are uh, your books. This is Albert from Red Flag Comics. These are um, other writers right here. This is actually my book right here. It's the Atomic Bell. It's nominated for an Eye right here for Best in Nice. Yeah. Hey, just uh, comic pack books? Or? Okay, yeah, they are. Nice. Big, thick comic books. <laughs> 78 miles an hour. Dead or alive. That one sounds kind of interesting. Like that. Salvador scan, the skeleton. Cool artwork. I love it. Tony Bell. Check it out, guys. Hmm. I wonder if Batman's. Uh, I wonder if Bat Rican seen that. 
It's a one of the, that's the that's the the best Batman, the illegal Batman. The, uh, the really crowded area. Yeah, we got one of those buses over there. That's pretty cool. You know, I've been walking around here a couple of times. I've been walking around here looking, keeping my eyes open. I haven't seen Bad Rican. Um, so I don't know where exactly he went. <laughs> and I haven't seen him in a while. So we have to keep our eyes out and uh, check out more cool stuff. This is pretty cool. And he doesn't hide it. He just exits yeah. out and puts it. They kind of look cool, you know. They're vibrant. I like that. What are they? Oh yeah, they're like magnets. That's like come on, that's Robert England cards. These are cool. Living off of the worst Friday the Thirteenth movies. I mean, his four. I'm not a fan. I will. Yeah, see, I'm still amazed by these things. Oh yeah, you can tell it's something or a spinning, a spinning LED or something. But uh, the resolution on it is very good. We got some more of these uh, Patrick shirts here. Yeah, that stained glass one is, is pretty cool. This is kind of cool too. The authors over here. Ira Hayden, Bradley Craig. Oh, he got it. Jennifer Rubin. Oh, I just saw something I gotta go check out. Socrates. <laughs> Excuse me. Back over by the packed uh, Hellraiser section here. Look at this thing. This is cool. See what who's down here? Oh, it's Leatherface. Cool. Yeah, I wanted to check out these things back here. These things are awesome back here. All right. Texas Chancery Municipal. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? We have a photo op starting for Hellraiser soon. And we have the Captain Line. So, uh, yeah, I do. So we will ask you for the Oh, no. That's going to go to yeah, all these little diorama, diorama scenes are really cool. There's a smaller version of the one I right over here. There's Halloween kills one up here. That's awesome. Very cool. Seven hundred bucks. I like this. This ghost face is cool too. Uh, 
<laughs> a trick or treat. It's a handbook for the recently deceased. Clown, fatso, and slim and shorty. These are shadow boxes. How are they? Turn it in the corner. Yeah, this Hellraiser. That's for a while. Oh, look at the alien. The alien shadow box. That's cool. Yeah. Big face hugger right there. <laughs> Got these ones on the floor. They're hard to see. Oh, here's Jason, Friday the 13th. Like I said, yeah. Yeah, over, over, like oversized, but that's cool. From uh, Lost Boys. Well, I wanted to see this in Saw, too. This is from Saw. This is Eddie. Next to him. <laughs> yeah, it it kind of looks funny with the, how oversized it is. But it's kind of cool looking. <laughs> Another one of Sam there. It's a cool Sam mask. This one's too. So the lines keep shifting around. There's all the people over here now. Who's uh, where the authors are over there now? And there's a line right in front of me as well. And I still haven't seen Barrican again. Um, not sure what this line is for, but it's not moving. <laughs> and there's a whole line of people coming towards me, so I can't get through. Might have to make a detour to go the other way. <laughs> Oh, this is probably for Rico Hughes or something over here. Or maybe it was uh, Franco. Yeah, it looks like um, Rico Hughes. It's right over there, the Pet Cemetery. The Pet Cemetery. That's what the line's for right now. And I still haven't seen Bet Rican. Oh, we'll keep looking. Yeah, we'll keep walking around and see what you can see. Oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fun. Um, yeah, I'm surprised. Actually, I've, I've kind of gone in several places and I still haven't seen them. That's cool. Good, how you doing? <laughs> got a bunch of these cool tumblers, I like that. Some cool artwork on these things, man. <laughs> We're here with uh, Rick, the selfie guy. 
in the, yeah. haven't seen the Terrifier, he's in the Terrifier, so go check that out. I like that Obey thing there. Don, your dad. Oh, the KKR. I have saw this boot before. We came here last year, I saw this. Yeah, they got some cool artwork here. The Terrifier. Awesome. Oh, there's the, we got the, must be about one o'clock. She said that the cast would be here right about one o'clock. Looks like there's John Franklin. And we got the director here, John Philbin. And they end up killing the spirit of the forest, so then it's like uh, the Lorax, but a horror story. Right. Yeah. And then Cinema Muerte is about um, a group of filmmakers that find a Necronomicon and they use it as a prop, but it's an actual book of the dead, and now right. they're trying to undo what they did. I got it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> She's going to kill us for this one. Got you. Yeah. I had to ask what that was. And these are coffin keys. The chuck, chuck glass. You know what those are? No, what are they? They're coffin keys. I had to ask what they are. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no way. I was like, yeah, I don't think I'd ever have a use for one of those. And at least I hope I don't ever have a use for one. <laughs> I wonder if you want to get out one. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I guess to unlock the. Uh, I'm not sure about that. That looked like a dental. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. Oops, sorry. He's like, I don't know about you. No, it really isn't that much. Uh, Oh, cool. Handmade cosmetics. Are you still here, man? Huh? Still here? Yeah. Now I'm just doing for myself. That's the moment. Yeah. I did want to say hi to uh, Crim Life and everything. Uh, the video he just did on uh, the Lem Caverns. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, I think so. I, I, yeah. I'm not. Oh, yeah, that was the village like to it. The Lemp Caves. Well, that was awesome. That was an awesome that. video. Really cool. I like the background. I know, right? Book broker. That's the one. What do you guys know when you see books? You know, I haven't really noticed too, uh, too much cosplay here today. I don't know if that's just because it's uh, still kind of early and usually that kind of comes in a little later, but... You know, usually there's uh, quite a bit, but not so much this year. You know, there's a few usual ones, but... Yeah, not too much, uh, like I said, not, not too much in the way of cosplay this year. The tarot decks over here, these are really cool. All the artwork on these tarot decks are awesome. I like that. All decks are $50. Yeah, it's typical. I, you, Everywhere we, everywhere we went, I've seen that uh, tarot cards were $50. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems like the going price. You know who would like that? Uh, Jen. Jen, yeah. uh, Sandra, well, that was, who else is into those tarot cards? Amy. Oh, uh, vodka. And vodka. I like that. The <laughs> Teen turtle? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Pretty cool. They had some Batman tarot cards, I would have bought it. Yeah, <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> he man. He man. That's how I was like. There's Batman. Is that Batman? Right. No, that's him. Oh, that's a Batman? Is yeah, that's Batman. Yeah, I know. Venom. Venom. Spider Man. Wow. Ghost. That's where that mask is. Ghost. Ghost. Yeah. Pantera. <laughs> 
Kiss. Very cool artwork, man. Yeah. Especially for tarot cards, these definitely look like tarot tarot card things. But yeah, I'd like to see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tarot. These are uh, tarot cards looking? No. Uh, no, these are just uh, prints. Prints? Just prints, but... Uh, Some of these, in fact. He does have prints of tarot cards. Exactly. See, they, these look like they could be tarot cards, so... Okay. But the, how the artwork is, they just look like they could be. Those are all prints. These are all originally Yeah, this one is cool. <laughs> this place is cool too. This is good. That's some really cool artwork here. I don't think I've seen this one before. We didn't check out this guy. Nightmare. This is a cool place. Nightmare Vixen. Like a real shot glass. <laughs> Mini tumbler. Oh, are they? They'll keep your ice cube cold. Oh, wow. They'll keep your ice cube cold? <laughs> you gotta chop them up. You just said that. It'll keep your ice cube cold. That's <laughs> awesome. Because that's all that'll fit in there. It is good or just don't know. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it all blurs together. This one with the lighted eyes, too. Uh, unprecious memo moments. <laughs> I like that. This is pretty cool. This is a bag, a handbag, a wallet. Oh. Toker socks. Who did you socks? Oh, car, car coasters? Is what that goes in the little, uh, your dish? Your little, uh... That goes in your thing for your car? Maybe the, the, the cup holder? So he doesn't, uh, get nasty down there, I guess? Oh, yeah, what is that? I saw that before. Isn't that from uh, Stay Puff? I mean, not Stay Puff, uh, the Power Puff Girls or something? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I saw that before. I don't, I don't know what it is. Fuck you. Fuck you. You fuck it. You fuck it. I don't know. I, I've seen that saying before, and I've seen that same horse with that picture before. I don't know. Maybe it was one of these other horse cars. We got some signed fun Funko Pops here. This would be cool. 150 for that. For Jumbo. Welcome to hell. <laughs> well, we got, uh, got some, maybe we do have some cosplays rolling in. We got the twins there, I saw. And this one. So these two passed away. Yeah. I know Sid, hey, like Sid did, yeah. I, I don't remember. Not yeah, same year, huh? Wow. Else, like, oh. I guess he's the creator. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Ironside over here. <laughs> huh? Right, Starship Trooper, he was in there, right? Uh, yeah, Starship Troopers, uh, Scanners. Total right. yeah. Recall. Oh, yeah. He's been in a whole bunch. Yeah, he's been in a bunch of movies. Yeah. I like him. No, they're not here anymore. The, our paranormal, our paranormal journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that back box. I want to see what this one does. 
put the uh, weird screen on there. Yeah. I think uh, it's like that red and red and green uh, uh, triangle they have. You can communicate with them. Okay. I think it's something like it. This is the Boo Bear. Oh yeah, the Boo Bear, yeah. yeah. How I'm about the, one of these? Kind of the same as Mickey? Is Mickey the same thing? Yeah. Oh, you got the EMF leader though. SP7. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to them earlier. They weren't. I don't know. They were all here before. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I can't wait for part two. I want to see it. Yeah, I do. I want to see that one, and I want to see the Ghostbusters. Uh, oh yeah, Fro Frozen. Yeah. I mean, oh, these, I like the movie. I just don't like Dan Aykroyd. Yes. These are pretty good too. These uh, they did. I was talking to these people for, for a little bit too. This uh, with the spirit box, is pretty cool. There's another name for it, right? Huh? There's another name for that. Echo box. Echo box or spirit box. How much one of these cost? How much money? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. They built it. It's quite a lot. Quite a lot. Yeah, hey, this is all the stuff that you have. Okay, awesome. Like that. It's all yeah. modified. So. Yeah, this is cool to see all the stuff attached to it. And no, it's, it's, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. These are all like guitar effects <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't know what that thing there exactly does, but a lot of these are just guitar effects. That's an amplifier, pre-amplifier, really actually. Work, so this is just a prop? No, he had, he, had, yeah, he had it working. He showed me before. He can show you how it works. It's, 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 a, yeah, it's a rock it definitely does work. So if you want to ask some questions, very well spiritually. I'm a ghost hunter myself. How are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> Just like, occasionally. And you do private Yeah, it is. John Franklin. I like his, his voice. Yes. I like this third eye guy here. There was somebody, I think last year when we came here, somebody actually had that costume. Is that Krampus? <laughs> That's Krampus. Yeah, Krampus. So somebody on my live stream wanted to, wanted to know how much that thing was. It's not for sale. Oh, no? No, but... Uh, uh, so, uh, does one guy have one? Yeah, the guy uh, back said, if you want one like that with the full bus, you know, with the bus like that, so, you know, give me, you know, I said to show my card, you know, show the card, and you hit me up on Facebook, I'll make you one. <laughs> but yeah, that one's not for sale because all the signatures on it. Yeah, that's probably worth a lot of money. This one, too. The soap that bleeds. This is my favorite, yeah. Yeah, I like the skull. When they say soap that bleeds, I mean, when you lather it, it looks like blood or something? I guess. I don't know. Interesting. This one glows in the dark. It glows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Freddy, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, Donnie, new challenge. <laughs> oh, all right, look at that guy. Oh, wow. Awesome. <laughs> Prince. Oh, look at uh, Linda Carter. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> nah. I, like, I like the color it is. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? I don't think he likes it. He's not looking so happy. Guys, we're in trouble. <laughs> we 
Good to see you. Oh yeah, well, there's a guy from uh, Poltergeist, Oliver Robin, and That's everything. Him. Yeah. Back again, huh? Yeah, Sean? we're back again. I got it, man. Awesome. <laughs> Take care. Those are cutting boards. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Yeah. I like the, the coffin shaped cutting board. Really nice. Yeah, that was cool. It's thick. That might be good for face the ace. He looks like yeah. a, likes a punisher. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho ape. <laughs> Are you guys fans of cheesy, low-budget horror films? Oh, who isn't? Okay, I mean, some, some <laughs> like they're more serious, you know what right. I mean? It's scary. But, uh, so I made this movie Psycho Ape. It's a parody of slasher movies, but it's a guy in a crappy gorilla costume going around stabbing people to death with bananas. And it's all cheesy and like stupid and on purpose. It's a really bad <laughs> killer gorilla movie. Intensely bad gorilla. It's all done like as a comedy, you know, bad on purpose to make the audience laugh. Right. And uh, so that's that was a movie we made a couple of years ago. But since then, like, you know, I go to a lot of conventions and stuff and I sell copies, but it's it's gotten a little bit of a fan base. So we were able to raise 14 grand at an Indiegogo for part two. We've already shot that, it's coming out in like two months. Awesome. So people seem to like Psycho if you're into cheesy low budget horror stuff like that. And then oh. this is like a jackass movie. Right. What I did was I took like 15 years of footage from like 20 years ago right. and I cobbled it together like a, like a movie. So it's like me and my high school buddies over the course of like 15 years just got uh, stuff have, and piling uh, up the footage. I, 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 Eventually so I, I chopped through it all and I turned it into like a movie. So it's like, it's part documentary because it is like nostalgic home video footage. Right. But it's also like, like stunts and pranks and skits and things like that. Like Jackass or the Tom Green show. That's kind of like what we did, but for old footage you know, right. that okay. nobody else had seen outside of my core group of friends. Awesome. So that's a stunt in the movie where I took uh, a friend of mine to Myrtle Beach and she ate a potato chip covered in Myrtle Beach sand and I filmed it. And so then now it's an official toy that you can collect, you know, <laughs> if you want to, if you so dare. But uh, it's one of my favorite stunts in the movie. Like we filmed it in 2013 just on a whim, like while we were on vacation, right. but it's like now it's, it's in a film, you know, that people can watch. Right. And, uh, you know, she never thought this footage would see the light of day because it was just, you know, something that we could laugh at, you know, right. reminisce on. Like now it's in a movie and now it's a tour, you know, it's some, just a fun thing to do. You know? And now you're coming to horror cons and selling <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people, you can like, you know, buy this toy and go home and it's like, oh my God, like, that's just, that's a friend of mine, you know. Right. It's well, like, it's cool to have this movie, you know, that people can watch too. Yep. That's awesome. You see? That's me. I used to work for Troma a few years ago. And I did like a movie riffing show, like History Science Theater 3000. Right. And so, you know, I did that. I applied jokes and like had like puppets and stuff to these Troma movies. Because I, I used to volunteer at the Troma booth and I would help them sell stuff. And then I would sell my movies at the Troma booth. Right. It was just a really cool kind of, you know, like a partnership. Right, right, right. right. But then after kind of riffing movies and watching cheesy B stuff, I made my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like this is very heavily influenced like by trauma stuff. And then this is Jackers. Got it. So it's like it's two different kinds of flavors of films. But you know, I like all kinds of movies. Are you still filming? Or are you still doing films or no? Oh yeah, yeah. Like I said, man, we just shot Psycho Wave 2 last summer and it's gonna be coming out in like two months. So, you know, if you like this, you have to just only wait like two more months. Right. That sounds awesome, man. That sounds awesome. <laughs> you got toys. Kind of reminds me. I used to do a show, uh, movies to watch on a rainy afternoon, where I would take like best of the worst clips from cheesy B movies right, and make like 15 to 20 minute long movie reviews with these best of the worst clips with like jokes and comments and stuff like that. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, and these DVDs are just compilations of like some of these you know, each, each DVD has a theme. Yeah, and there's tons of stuff on YouTube for free. Tons, tons of, of stuff episodes, on YouTube, guys. Gotcha. Oh, cool. There you go.
Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, thanks. Yeah, scary. Uh, I don't want to do this again. I remember back in my back in my punk era days. I had a jacket with a bunch of patches on it, so I'd like to do it again. I think I'd like to do it. Yeah, I'd like to do another one. I used to have a jacket with uh, back in when I was 18, 19 years old, 20, and I was always going to the punk rock shows and stuff like that. I had, you know. Mitch Pitts, Pitts, Patches, they probably had Iron Maiden. Yeah, they probably had some Iron Maiden. All kinds of different punk, different type patches. But I like wouldn't like to do it now with just like all the horror type stuff. You know? Alright. And just get all horror icon stuff, you know, get that on there, that'd be cool. We all float. Down here. <laughs> uh, is that the, the devil worshiping? Uh, the, what? Can't remember the name of that thing. In the casket, that's cool. What's inside of it? Coffin? That's a mood ring. Um, like so. A mood ring? What's inside there? Uh, yeah, we have little people in our coffins. Oh, okay. There's a little piece There's of little people, and then these ones are, have skeletons inside of them. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're really good. They stay on really well. If you wash your hands with them on, it doesn't tarnish or turn your hands green or anything like that. Yeah. Okay, focus on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Bernie, oh, Bender. We have Bender. We also yeah, won't focus on it. Oh, well. There's a little skeleton in there, guys. Cool. It is. Black Widow. <laughs> like this. Killer oh, Clowns yeah. from Outer Space. And vinyl, vinyl poster? Okay. Oh, that's that's nice. cool. Vi yeah, vinyl posters. I didn't Weird. Know that. I'll put them outside. <laughs> oh, these are metal. Metal posters. That's cool. Phantasm. Yeah. The tall man. A lot better. I think we've uh, pretty much walked around through everything around here. This side looks like it's uh, almost emptying out now. It looks like it's, it's dead over there now. But yeah, um, we're probably gonna wrap this up here. Let's take a okay, just to walk around a little bit more. Maybe grab some uh, another some video for some YouTube shorts. But uh, again, thank you all for joining me here today. Um, I love each and every one of you, and I appreciate each and every one of you that come and subscribe to my channel and watch my channel. So hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel, and uh, I'll see you all in my next video, guys. So stay tuned. I love you all.